Getting gray hair is a natural part of life. It's a universal experience that connects us all. It happens to everyone, regardless of hair color or ethnicity. No matter where you come from or what your background is, gray hair is inevitable. As we age, our bodies gradually produce less melanin, the pigment responsible for the color of our hair. Melanin is a pigment that gives our hair its color, ranging from black to brown, blonde, and red. When melanin production slows down, hair turns gray, silver, or white. This transformation is a natural part of the aging process. This process typically begins in our 30s or 40s, but it can happen earlier or later for some individuals. It's a unique journey for everyone. While genetics plays a significant role, other factors can contribute to premature graying. Stress, lifestyle choices, and even certain medical conditions can accelerate this process. While genetics play a significant role in when we start graying, other factors can speed up the process. It's not just about the genes we inherit from our parents. These include stress, nutritional deficiencies, smoking, and certain medical conditions. Each of these factors can have a profound impact on the health and color of our hair. Stress, for example, can deplete melanin-producing cells, leading to premature graying. The pressures of daily life can take a toll on our hair. Nutritional deficiencies, particularly in vitamin B12, can also contribute to premature graying. A balanced diet is crucial for maintaining hair health. Additionally, smoking damages hair follicles and accelerates the aging process, including hair pigmentation loss. The chemicals in cigarettes can be particularly harmful. For some, premature graying can impact self-esteem, especially in societies that place a high value on youthful appearance. The way we perceive ourselves can be deeply affected by changes in our hair color. The science behind gray hair is truly fascinating and complex. Hair follicles contain specialized pigment cells called melanocytes, which are responsible for producing melanin, the pigment that gives hair its color. Melanin comes in two primary forms, eumelanin, which is dark brown or black, and pheomelanin, which is reddish yellow. The balance between these two types of melanin creates the wide variety of hair colors we see. The unique combination of these pigments within each hair follicle determines our natural hair color, ranging from blonde to brunette to red. As we age, the activity of melanocytes declines, leading to a gradual reduction in melanin production over time. Without sufficient melanin, hair loses its vibrant color and begins to appear gray, silver, or even white. Genetics play a crucial role in determining when this decline begins, but external factors such as stress, diet, and environmental exposure can also influence the graying process. Section 4. Fighting Back. Tips for maintaining your natural hue. While we can't stop the aging process entirely, certain lifestyle changes and remedies might help slow down or prevent premature graying. Maintaining a healthy diet rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals can support hair health. Managing stress through exercise, yoga, or meditation can also help preserve melanin-producing cells. Additionally, quitting smoking and protecting your hair from excessive sun exposure can prevent damage and premature aging. Section 5. Embracing the change. Remember, gray hair is a natural part of life. It's a sign of wisdom, experience, and a life well-lived. Instead of dreading those silver strands, embrace them. Take pride in your natural beauty and remember that true beauty shines from within. What are your thoughts on going gray gracefully? Share your tips and join the conversation on our social media channels. For more health and beauty advice, stay tuned.